My name is Ruben and welcome to the Spare Time Shop. Today I'm going to... Hello, me again. This was unnecessary. So today I'm going to make some floating shelves for the apartment. And without any further ado, let's get into it. So I'm making the shelves to fit this corner right here. The first thing I did was take measurements from the floor, the mid wall, all the way as high as I could reach to make sure the walls were square. And they were. So I got this piece of rubber wood left over from a previous build. I lost my crock. <laughs> Damn it. So this is the piece I'm going to use to build the floating shelves and I measured it. It should be enough to make three shelves. So let's just cut it up and see. Wait a minute, I can't work like this. Hold on. Much better. Now let's get to work. So I made some plans and traced them onto the sheet of wood. I cut them out and also had to clean up some of the edges. So here we are, three identical pieces all ready. I also cut three of these smaller strips. I'll glue these to the front of the board to make them look a bit more solid. But you'll, you'll see what I mean. Lining up these marks will save me some sanding later on. So, I now have these three shelves. So the next thing I need to do is basically sand everything down, especially all the visible surfaces like the front edge right here, where I glued two pieces together. But let's do that. I'm using a water-based clear furniture finish on the shelves, since they will only be used for towels and whatnot. I applied two coats, top and bottom. So the reason I cut these long pieces is because I'm going to use these to attach the shelves to the wall. But I don't want this to be visible, so I need to cut them down to the length of the shelves. I marked and pre-drilled the holes for the shell support. I will use these to screw them to the wall. I also countersunk the screw holes so the screws will sit flush. Now that's all, let's install. I marked the height where I wanted the shelves to go. Turned on the laser guide. and drew a line and marked the holes through the shelf supports. I drilled holes in the wall just deep enough for the plugs with some extra room and attached the supports with some screws. I repeated this whole process six times. Remember those countersunk holes? I'll be using these to attach the shelves onto the support. Four screws per shelf and they're plenty strong. So, I'm 
really happy with how this came out. And I know it's just another one of those floating shelf videos, but still. I want to thank you for watching. Please consider subscribing if you want to see me build more stuff. And yeah, see you in the next one.